Remember, it is very important to practice your escape plan. It's also very important to have an escape plan that you draw and have ready for the whole family to see. So for example, I have a house drawn here and I have four family members in the house. Each family member has a different color for different colored markers. So what we'll do for the first person, we'll do the dad first. He's gonna be in this bedroom. He'll come out, come out this door, and go out to the mailbox. Remember, always have a meeting place in front of the house. Could be a mailbox, a tree, a rock. Do not stand in front of the driveway. Fire trucks come there. We don't want to hit you. The mom comes out of here also, comes out, goes to the meeting spot. You have a, a daughter here, comes out, same path, goes to the meeting spot. And the very last person, which would be in this bedroom, can crawl out and come to the meeting spot. Now remember, you should always have two ways out, one being the door. But if the door's hot, you go to your window. So you can also draw it on the escape plan that they possibly come out the window and go to that meeting spot. Remember, once you're out, you stay out. Don't ever go back in. Once you're done with your escape plan, make sure you put it on the fridge because everyone in the house goes to the fridge. That way everyone will see it and remember what to do when there's a fire. Boys and girls, remember, you spend more time at home than you do at school. And each year you do four escape plans for school and fire drills. You should do more at home.